Hello and welcome to FS25 Day. It's the 12th of November. FS25 is about to drop. In the UK where I am now, I should be able to get access to it, access to it at uh, from 1 o'clock, from 1300 hours. And can't wait. Currently, I'm with around about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I decided to use Alonka as a bit of a goodbye to FS22 and hello to FS25. So here I am in new farmer mode, nothing added to it, no mods, just pure bare bones Silonka. And we're going to just play for five or ten minutes um, on this map and then just uh, transfer over to the same map, of course, because we can, because Ilonka will be on FS25, and we're about to see the immediate differences. I'll also be using this map in the future just to um, put side by side the the differences between FS25, 22, and FS25. I think it might. I'm hoping that it might show a quite distinct difference. I'm sure it will. In any case, enough waffling on. Let's go and jump into the harvester and we'll just harvest a bit of this wheat that's here. And I think we need to pick that up. Yeah, so as I said, we'll just play along just for a little while and then we will do hopefully the same actions. I mean, of course, I don't know whether FS, the Zylonk on FS25 will start exactly in the same fashion. It may not, but we will see. At least we'll be on the same map. Well, on the same... <laughs> the same named map. I'm pretty sure it will be slightly different. But we'll see can't guarantee of course the same weather conditions and such like but hey ho such is life yeah so FS22 been very good for me I've started my new well I've started my very first YouTube channel we up to 400 and just under 450 subscribers during the course of this. Well, it's not, it wasn't quite full. I think I started a couple of weeks after FS22 came out. And my first series was on the Pioneer map. And yes, yeah, slow but steady progress. Hopefully 25 will be my breakthrough. So FS22 have been fantastic really and from what I've read and I've purposely not watched any of the videos that have come up so that I can have a fresh opinion about FS25 when it comes out um, or my own opinion. So yeah, very excited. It's a very exciting day and I thought that this would be an ideal way just to say goodbye to FS22. We did have that hack around series that uh, was, still, was still going on. There's still a, a couple of things that were left untied as such. Um, the heritage contractors didn't quite finish. But yeah, we going to change slightly in terms of the format of what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of my, well my main focus is going to be on my um, new map first day series. Might be a little while before the new maps come out for FS25. So I will be doing a 
one for each of the new maps that are out, that are out with the base game. So it'll be the American map, the the Asian map. Um, we'll do Zylonka as well um, as a separate as a separate entry. Although there will be a little bit of a taste of it of Zylonka um, when we do our intro to FS25 which forms part of this video that we're making now so I do hope you enjoy this transition video as such I'm going to do this on a little bit of a time lapse so that we can pretty much hopefully the <laughs> yeah Hopefully the, this field will still be workable when we <laughs> when we get through to FS25. We'll see. We'll we'll adapt. It's a little bit difficult to know exactly how it's going to play out because I'm sure that they would have made lots of, if not lots of, if not big changes, little changes to the map. In any case just enjoy this little time lapse and we'll get back to you when it's finished Well, you're back with me now and just doing the last pass it's all gone swimmingly well as they say so we'll just finish this pass off we'll offload it into the trailer go and put it in the silo and that's where we will most probably depart from FS22 maybe what we'll do is we'll just go and deliver some well, yeah, we'll do that. What we'll do is we'll we'll go and sell the the wheat just for a little drive around the map. Perfect, a perfect harvest. Let's go and offload this quickly, and then we'll find a place to go and deliver the. the wheat too and that will be our FS22 Swan Song Drive and the best place to sell it would be on the train station but we won't do that we'll go to the grain mill and take the place Let's see if we can see a green thing sticking in there get the map out and there it is there not very far away from where we are right off we go Wait. Right. and there it is just around the drag from us <laughs> we could have just delivered to our any event 
I do hope that you've enjoyed my series on uh, FS22 as much as I've enjoyed making them. And we'll make this delivery. And we will then be able to move on to FS25 in an hour or two's time. Let's see how much we make out of this. Ten thousand three hundred and seventy. Very nice. And with that, I bid you adieu, farewell, goodbye, wiedersehen, Gott wiedersehens, from FS22. And we'll catch you in FS25. See you there. Here we are. Okay, so we can change our characters. So that's pretty much works the same, although the we do look slightly different. There seems to be well, more or less the same amount of choice. It all looks reasonably similar. We can change our hair. We'll stick with that one. How do we know where we are? It's a, when I'm doing it on the controller, it just changes shade slightly. If I'm doing it on the mouse it actually highlights so yeah a couple of differences but that's me playing on the controller so it's not not a problem i did pop in briefly just before uh, i started recording just to um, see how things worked so it did ask me whether uh, to set up for controller so yeah so there we go beards Clothing, so the clothing looks all pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit disappointing that we didn't have um, a little bit more choice there. We'll just go with that. I think that's pretty much what we were wearing in the old one. I can't remember what we were wearing, but we'll confirm that one there. And there we go, start farm. So Start from looks pretty similar. First thing I notice is that there is no van that was parked here, and we do look like we have somebody we can start a conversation with. Well, hello there. Uh, Walter, hello there. So there we go, our first interaction with a uh, NPC. Nice, nice little change. And we'll get out here. Now, the other thing there is select camera view. I think we can go into... There we go. I'm going to third person. Let's go charging. I thought we changed our clothing. In any case, we'll stick with this for now. Right, first thing we can notice, well, besides what we've already noticed, <laughs> the difference is that uh, we are using a different combine harvester on here. But let's get that started and then we can right so turn on as we said we seem to have a couple more controls on the top left there right up and down honk change speed lower header it's all 
pretty much the same. So let's unfold the harvester. That's still the same. On so I'm presuming if this if the controls are the same on the controller, that they are the same on the shortcuts on the PC. So in the past, the harvesters well in FS22 with the harvesters when you turned it on, it automatically lowered the header. So I don't know. So we just lower the header. Not too much of a problem. It's probably actually better that way. And let's get going. Feels nice and smooth so far. We haven't got a lot in. So also on this page, the, uh, the top right-hand corner information over there. It looks pretty much the same. And the nice thing at the bottom here is it's showing what we what we are harvesting and quite big. The, the basic um, vehicle information at the bottom left hand, uh, bottom right hand corner looks nice and easy to read and slightly different in terms of color but yeah not a huge huge change there. the header today. So the map so far just looks pretty much the same. The starting equipment had changed. We didn't have... Um, I couldn't see offhand if we had the... Uh, the vegetable equipment. Didn't look like it. But those are small things that you would you would expect. The field feels more or less the same. Size looks the same. Coke controls for switching with the control button top right top right on pressing A1 is the same so yeah, so it feels very familiar actually at this point in time just for general play. that really feels good don't notice any well we haven't got any mods or anything like this so there shouldn't be any lag but it seems to be playing very smoothly for me so I have no problem with that in fact it seems to be playing smoother than it might be just a, a bigger combine. It seems to be going faster than the combine that we had in the first part of the video from FS22. We've got, looks like a JCB with a plant over there. I'm just going to do exactly the same job that I did on the first one just, so, just to keep it nice and simple. And then we'll get this more for you guys to have a look at and then we'll start in earnest with the other maps and we'll do our new map first day series I think I might do a little series as I mentioned earlier on on uh, oops did we get that going let's just reverse up a bit and start again yeah, I think so far so good. There seems to be a little bit more in terms of pedestrians walking past, but I didn't really take note of that. 
first instance. I'm going to say the grain wall is still where it was in the last time because I can see it there. So let's see if we can uh, get a work on. might do this slightly different. We did this on a time lapse. I might put this onto a worker. Let's try and get lined up properly though. And then so on the controller it would normally be B to select a worker. And yeah I was kind of expecting us to get some sort of option to uh, to activate the GPS that didn't seem to happen but I'll investigate that further as I go along in any case I'm going to let him get get on with it and I'm going to go and have a look around the farm area so here we go what do we got we've got the challenger Nice big tractor, another field. Actually, let's get on that and let's just. So, what if we go along here? Saving contact, that's normal. What do we have? Got our crop calendar and our weather report all in one. I like that. I like that. I think that is fantastic. So at the top we've got the indication of uh, spring, summer, autumn and winter. Um, on the face of it, it looks fairly similar. Let's have a look at the crops. So wheat, barley, canola, oats, corn, flour, soya beans, potatoes. So there we, there we go now with the rices. That is new sugarcane sorghum we've had before olives poplar still got all the vegetables we've got green beans now as well and we've got peas in the vegetables and spinach that's good yeah so that's the new slightly different colors for the planting and harvest seasons So the order down the left hand side is different because it looks like we're going to go straight on to our animals now. So we don't have any, we've got a, sh we've got a shed somewhere with the chicken pastures, doesn't have anything in it. And then we've got contracts coming up. So those are the, probably the, the three that we would use more often than not. So that's good. And so I'm liking the I'm liking the order. I'm liking the order. Productions, yes. Good. Good place for that. Pricing where to sell. Yeah. This feels like the the flow down the left hand side feels a lot better to me. Fantastic. And then we go to save game, game settings, general settings. So game settings. So the interface looks slightly different. So the game six in pause game, game my game save, so you can change the name there. Uh, auto save, it, yeah, that's pretty much speed, traffic on or off. I like that toggle there. Seasonal growth, yes, that's all the same as it was, except for the toggling. Crop growth, crop de destruction on or off, that's pretty much the same. Lime, weeds, disaster destruction, so that's new. Visuals only disabled, enabled. Defines if the district is active. So you might see it. We'll leave it enabled for now. Vehicle control, dirt, normal. Fast, yeah, that's normal. So automatic engine start is on. Yeah, stop go braking. 
that's pretty much the same as it was. AI work is off, off. So refill the slurry. You can obviously at the moment, but I, sp I would I would imagine that you could have various places that you could refill. Refill manure. I would say the same. Yeah. Right, general settings. So I kind of like that this is all on one on one interface it all one tab, shall we say? Help window off or on. Colorblind mode off. So that's all pretty much the same. Field info on We'll leave the interactive markers on just for now. Uh, any other currencies? So we've got euro, dollar, pound, euro, dollar, pound. I think that's the same. Kilometers, miles, Celsius, hectares, acres, radio on or off, pretty much the same. Camera. Reset camera domain. Yeah, that looks pretty much the same. Easy on control. Camera sensitivity. What does that change? Adjust the camera turning speed. So you can make it faster. Make it slower. Leave it at that for now. Leave everything pretty safe. Steering back speed 70%. We'll leave everything as standard for now. Direction change automatic defines if the vehicle changes direction automatically. Leave that all as automatic for now. Engine speed, vehicle speed. Switch to trains. On. Yeah, that's good. Wood harvester automatic cutting. Tree will automatically cut after the tree has been delimbed. That's new. I don't think we've had that before. Input help. Keyboard, gamepad. Master volume, that's yeah, normal. That's all good. And controls. Yeah, so I'm I'm kind of liking that. So game settings, general settings. We've gone two as well, so that you can get two from either there, the controls, the help, how to start, what format do you want to be, etc. It looks like some of the AI workers, we'll have to read through all that. Yep. And of course, quit the game. Yeah, kind of like that. So we do have some crop in there. Let's just set him off and see if he works. Wrong season for this kind of work. So we can't plant wheat. <laughs> That's cool. So let's go and have a look and see what we can plant. So we are in August. We can plant canola. Now, so that works the same. Set the work off. Don't know where she's going. Have a look and see what she's going to do. She's going to start in the middle. Yeah, not quite sure why she started there, but that could be part of the... In any case, looks like we need to go and empty the harvester out. 
so let's get that into a position uh, dismiss the worker just so that we can very shiny uh, pipe auger pipe so let's see do we have a do we have a trailer yes we do a small trailer down here But we have to ferry that to the graphics look good. I don't know whether it's any better at this point in time. See any ground deformation? Don't notice that offhand. That might be a setting that needs to be set somewhere. You can see the tire tracks. All the controls are basically the same, you, you, you're not going to go too far wrong. Seems to work, the refilling, at least the emptying of the, this harvester seems to be pretty standard to what it was in 22 as well. Doesn't feel any quicker to me. Offhand. I do feel there's something different with the graphics, not quite sure what it is, but it does feel like it. Let's get the pipe in. That's the same control, yeah, no problem with that. Get the worker off again. Oh, where's he going to now? Oh, he's just, just realigning himself. <laughs> Nothing serious. <laughs> right. Be interesting to see if she does um, I'm going to say that that is working on a GPS system so it's going to do headlands as well as soon as we didn't start with a headland this time let's see interesting I have to still work out all the nitty-gritty so I'm not quite sure of the of working the GPS etc I specifically didn't watch videos in advance because I wanted to give you my first impressions straight off straight off the bat so to speak without any preconceived ideas and therefore there may be some things that I say that may seem quite stupid really, but still, <laughs> that's the way I decided to do it. You're getting my absolute first impressions. Right, where are we next? Let's jump out of there. And we'll go for a trot down to our tractor and we'll go and needs lime oh so that's quite here farmland 46 owned by you wheat slightly different in terms of field info needs lime weeds growing 
but all that basic info is there just looks slightly different. And we are 99% full, so we will go and offload this into our... Actually, what we'll do is we'll go and we'll go and deliver it to to the grain mill. So let's first of all just go back in here so we can have a check up the pricing. So what have we got in here? We've got wheat. Oh, so that's quite neat because you've got now, you've got all the, um, the, you've got the pricing at the top and then you've got the, what looks like a graph of pricing at the bottom. The average price is 5339. And at the moment we had five, three, six, one. So we're above the average price. And five, four for August. Are we in, we in August yet? So you're getting a really good price at the train station, the farmer's market is that's for barrels but uh, so let's go this looks like it's in in alphabetical order which is quite good it's probably a way you can change that as well i haven't really looked for it so we need to go right down to the bottom lots of different crops in here already so wheat there we go yeah, so wheat, we January looks like the the best month to sell. We're gonna sell now. Where do we get our best price? Eight forty nine grain mill, eight fifty four. So we off to the grain mill, and yeah, so we can tag the place, same controls, just a different place to look for them. Oh, and what is quite nice is that you get that directional finder. So if you look at the bottom left corner, you'll see 275 meters and an arrow. So at the moment it's show, showing us driving the wrong way. We need to get to the road to get... It actually comes across. We have to drive over the pavement either way. And there we go. So we're pretty much heading in the right direction. It's telling you how far you've got to go. I'm just wondering whether that will be become a little bit annoying. Will you just disregard it? It's probably a way to switch it off. In any case, we'll make these deliveries and then that is pretty much we will end things off um, simply because that's kind of where we although we haven't finished so that yeah that's pretty much the same so a lot of a lot of the basics are in the same place which is good Six thousand. It's less than what we got in the in the FS22, but we had less product because <laughs> we haven't delivered a full harvest. So well, hello to Farming Simulator 25. Smashing start. Feel comfortable most of the with the basics still going to have to look at all the nitty-gritty and we'll do that over the next couple of days and weeks and 
there's lots that we can do before the first mods come out. I'm sure it's not going to be too long before some of the mods come out. We've pretty much finished harvesting there. We'll just park off there. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little transition video. And all I can say is it's here. Enjoy it. My first impressions? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the fact that you can do a little bit of talking with the NPCs. I think that will become old hat fairly quickly, to be honest, but that's the option is there. Um, I particularly like the third person view while you are running or while you are moving between places and it's easy to go into first person view again. It's no problem at all. Everything else looks fantastic. I just want to go quickly nip up here and go and have a look at the worker and just see how she's doing. Is she, is she doing a headland? I don't know. So here we go, we've planted canola, so it needs lime, needs rolling, all this, all the stuff, good stuff that we should have done. So I'll just kind of wait here and uh, I'll let you get back to me. Well, I'll get back to you as soon as I know whether she's going to be doing headlands. Yeah, so I think we can safely say that the, the worker is doing headlands and if you start it on a without having done the headlands yourself should appear certainly on a rectangular field that she will do it for you but we'll check that out as we go along in a bit more detail and depth right let's get back to where we started and that's kind of where we're going to end this video let's go and walk with the people as we go back to our farm So we always seem to be in a state of trot. We can go faster, we can run, but otherwise we are a typical farmer. We always want to get somewhere quick so we can start working. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this transition video. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!